So let's look a little bit at the shape and form of the television industry so that you can better understand where the showrunner would fit in. People might think that it is the network, or if um, in a better way to put it is to say something like a Netflix or an HBO or Showtime, these are networks, and that's ultimately how the viewer, the audience would get the content, the program, the series, the films, but the studio is where all of this kind of um, is more in execution mode. So the studios, which has the, the studios where you have the sets, the lots, props, talent agreements. And you also have production companies that might have their offices under the studio. Now, of course, that's not the only part of it. We've got, that would be a production company and that could be an independent company or it could be a company that becomes a part, have a deal under a studio. So the showrunner can have a production company or a showrunner can be someone who is an independent entity that signs up with a production company. And the part of the making of the series, I always like to have create a visual of a three ring circus. It's an easier way to remember it. And it kind of puts you or the showrunner into the position of understanding what it is that they do. So the three ring circus has three components to it pre-production, production, and post-production. These are the areas that the showrunner is kind of like the ringmaster for. Pre-production is the writers. It's also though, casting people. You've got your showrunner office, and you've got the script department, script coordinator, script assistant. Production generally has a director. You have a UPM or your sort of your creative and your logistical. You're under your director, you have a DP, you have the camera department, lights, wardrobe and makeup, set design, travel, locations, budgeting, which is pretty much through a line producer or the whole production accounting area. Post-production, you'll have editorial or the editors, music, what's called a mix, the effects may come in at that point. So that all is the areas that fit under what the showrunner is in charge of. So then there's this thing called the network. You might have several networks that a studio deals with for different shows. So the studio would have deals with the networks. Ultimately though, the really important component of all of this is the audience. And the reason for this is because the audience equals the money. Without the audience, there is no money. So the network has the direct relationship with the audience. The studio has the relationship with the networks. The production companies have the relationship with the studio. The showrunners either are the production company or they have the relationship with the production company. So it kind of goes in this you know, bigger fish, smaller fish components. But at the end of the day, if you look at the entire picture, it's quite clear that without a, any arm of this, it's not going to get from the creation stage to the audience stage. So it all connects together and works in this way. And of course, the, the money deals all come into play at every step of this, including when the audience comes in, because I'm sure you pay probably like most of us, some kind of monthly for a streaming service, or if you get your content through the internet, it would be an internet contract, it would be potentially satellite or cable uh, company. All of that though is a connection to the audience, which has to go through this large, a sort of a uh, picture to be able to get from the creation to you sitting at home watching a program. I dropped my mic, so let me get my mic off the floor. Mm -hmm.